I have to talk about this movie? Really? I have to? I guess. Since I'm doing the entire Van Damme filmography for the most part. What's going on guys? Fabio here. Back with uh, another Jean-Claude Van Damme movie review. We're actually starting to wind down. I think I only have um, five movies left to review. So not many to, to finish up. I think yeah, five movies... And then the Behind Closed Doors uh, reality series, which I really enjoyed. And then, as I mentioned, I would talk about um, Frank Dukes a little bit, since Frank Dukes and Van Damme are connected. Um, yeah. And then one day I will review the sequels to Van Damme films. Because uh, I still need to see Cyborg 2 and 3. Can't wait. And now Hard Target 2, because Hard Target 2 is getting ready to come out. But anyway, so, yes, I'm here to rant on Universal Soldier Day of Reckoning or Universal Soldier Day of Raping because it raped the franchise so far beyond than what it was originally supposed to be. Fuck this movie. This movie fucking sucks. I'm sorry, folks. I know there's a lot of people out there that love this movie, and I know I'm going to get shit for it, but I don't give a fuck because it's my video it's my channel, it's my opinion, and I think this movie fucking blows. This movie blows big elephant dick. It's fucking bullshit to what they did to this franchise. They should have left it alone. Again, how many times do I have to say it? Hollywood keeps riding on the nostalgia dick. That's why they keep making pointless sequels, and they keep remaking and rebooting and reimagining every goddamn movie under the sun because they ride the nostalgia dick because guess what they're doing now they're fucking remaking kickboxer and van damme's gonna be in those too i know they keep talking about remaking bloodsport and i think lionheart they want to remake or they want to make a sequel to or some shit and then they want to remake Time Cop? Fuck no. That's what I say. Fuck this movie. And stop remaking all this Van Damme. Stop making sequels. And stop remaking everything Van Damme's been in. God damn. How many times... I've, I've talked about it before. Van Damme is the most ripped off action star of all time. He is. Because they made three Bloodsport sequels that he's not in. Which, Bloodsport 2, I like. Bloodsport 3 was okay. It was pretty much the same thing as Bloodsport 2. Because they shot... I think they... Yeah, they filmed them back to back. Bloodsport 4 was weird as shit. I don't know what in the fuck was going on in that movie. And they did Cyborg 2 and Cyborg 3. Which, never seen them. Then, they did four sequels to Kickboxer. Which, I liked all those. I like Sasha Mitchell's movies. And then I like the one with Mark Dacascos, because I love that guy. And now they're remaking it, and then they're doing a sequel to the remake, and the remake hasn't even come out yet, and they're already doing a sequel. And then they fucking made Hard Target 2, and they did Universal Soldier 2 and 3, and then, you know, they did the other two. In Universal Soldier The Return, but that one I like. But Van Damme is the most ripped off action star of all time. <laughs> it's true, folks. It's true. Whatever. But this movie goes in all sorts of weird fucking directions. I mean, I've only seen this movie once. That was enough for me. I remember downloading it when it first came out. So the movie starts off, you have Scott Atkins, he like wakes up, and everything's done, excuse me, in point of view, and he like goes downstairs to his house, to get like a glass of water or some shit, and his family's being held by the Universal Soldiers, and then Van Damme shows up, and he's the fucking bad guy, like... What? Like, why? 
Who came up with this concept to make Luke Devereaux the bad guy? Like, who... Who... Why? Why would you think that was a good idea? And I know, again, people love this fucking movie. Got all these good reviews and shit, and people are like, Oh, it was brilliant storytelling. Bull fucking shit, because Luke Devereaux... So you're telling me that this movie wiped out the first movie where Luke Devereaux was a universal soldier. He woke up. He wanted to get away. He regained his humanity. Killed his arch nemesis. And then Universal Soldier that returned, he was completely back to normal and he was like helping out. And then he fought the Universal Soldier, you know. Fuck. And then in regeneration he's crying at the fucking monkeys bull fucking shit this whole goddamn they ruined the whole fucking franchise John Hyams and I don't blame Van Damme I really don't because you know the guy's gotta work I'm sure he makes pretty good money still off of these movies like I said I'm sure he makes like two million dollars per movie you know, so he he gets paid pretty well to do. You know, I don't blame Van Damme, and I just wish he would choose better movies to make. Because pretty much all the remaining videos, except two, are gonna be rants. The only ones that aren't gonna be rants is Enemies Closer, which I thought was a really good movie, and Welcome to the Jungle, which I thought Van Damme was fucking hilarious in that. He was the best part of that movie. It was hilarious. The rest are going to be rants because I don't know. I don't know why Van Damme keeps making these shitty movies. Like, I wish he would do movies like Wake of Death, you know, and The Shepherd. You know, I wish he would go back to that. And now he's doing a show for Amazon where he plays himself, but it's like a, he's a spy. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I really don't know anymore. But this movie fucks up all kinds of shit. So anyway, so Van Damme, you find out, is the bad guy. And he kills Scott Atkins' family right in front of him. I will give the movie one thing. It's definitely rated R. It's a hard R. It's violent. It's graphic. Um, some of the action scenes I like. But that's it. Really, I just enjoy some of the action scenes. But whatever. So, yeah, then the movie picks up and Scott Atkins is trying to find out what happened and who he is and all this other fucking stupid bullshit. And you find out he's one of the Universal Soldiers. I'm going to pull it up here quick because I don't even remember. Not that I give a fuck because I really don't. But they fucking clone Dolph Lundgren again for whatever reason. You know, what the, what the what is this? Is this the fucking sixth day with Arnold where they just clone everybody like 9,000 times? Doesn't make any goddamn sense. Like, okay, yeah, um... Scott Atkins, like, loses his fucking memory, and then you have, you bring back Andre Arlevsky, he's like a sleeper agent, yeah, that's right, and he goes, yeah, he goes into this whorehouse where, um, all the Universal Soldiers are, they're like in there fucking and shit, so he goes in and kills everybody, you got all these dudes walking around naked and their dicks are flopping around and stuff because that's what everybody wants to fucking see. And Dolph Lundgren's in there and they fight. And then, yeah, you find out, like, Van Damme and Dolph Lundgren, like, have gathered up all the Universal Soldiers and they're like a fucking cult and Van Damme's basically playing Marlon Brando from Apocalypse Now. The only thing that was missing was him going, the horror, the horror. That was the only thing that was missing. 
So yeah, um, Scott Atkins like tries to find out what happened and regain his memory and shit. And you know, he meets this woman who's really I think she works for the Universal Soldiers or something like I don't fucking re I don't care. I do not fucking care. I really don't. And you find out like Scott Atkins is a fucking clone of himself. And then there's a fight there's a little car chase and then there's a fight scene in like a sporting goods store where he knocks off Andre Levski's head with a baseball bat. Like, that was a, a good action scene. That was about it. So, yeah. The movie just goes in all these weird fucking directions. Like, what the fuck? This is not Universal Soldier. It's fucking Apocalypse Now with all this cloning and weird shit in it. You know? And it doesn't make any goddamn sense to me. So... Scott Atkins goes to the, the lair of the Universal Soldiers where they're getting ready to fucking lead up uprising. And he gets into a fight with Dolph Lundgren, which I like that because they're like pulling out guns and shooting each other. And then um, Dolph Lundgren gives his signature line, you know, that's the spirit soldier. And then he gets killed. And then... He fights Van Damme or something, or he kills Van Damme. Does, Van, I know Van Damme dies, yeah. Yeah, they fight, and then... He kills him, yeah. Van Damme dies. Like, every fucking movie now, Van Damme dies in. Ever since Expendables 2. Every movie, he dies. This movie, he dies. UFO, he dies. Enemies Closer, okay, Enemies Closer, he's the bad guy. That one's, like, the only exception. Um, Swelter, he dies. Pound of Flesh, he dies. Like, every goddamn movie he's in now, he dies. Like, what the fuck? He's the good guy. He's not supposed to die. Pissing me off. All, every, every, ugh. See, I'm getting so flabbergasted that, because this movie pisses me off. I remember when I saw it, it pissed me off. I was like, well, I'm sitting there watching it on my computer because I didn't fucking pay for this. Thank God I didn't pay for this shit. Because it's worse than fucking regeneration. But I'm not... It's like, well, if you had a choice, would you watch Regeneration or would you watch Day of Reckoning? No, I would pull out a fucking whatever and drill a hole in the wall and escape from wherever I'm at. Fuck both of these movies, but this one's worse because it goes in all these different goddamn directions and you don't know what the fuck is going on and they turn Van Damme into the bad guy, which pissed me off the most. And then he dies. Every, why is he, does he... Does he have a contract now where every movie he's in, he has to die? No matter who he plays? Like, come on, Van Damme, like, stop dying in your movies. Seriously. And then, you know, Dolph Lundgren's in there, like, he's given more to do in this movie, but it's pointless. They cloned him again, and then they brought back Andre Alevsky, they cloned him, they cloned fucking Scott Atkins, like, what is this? The fucking, again, the sixth day with Arnold, like, the clones... Shit gets old. This movie... And again, I know people love this movie. Like, this movie got all kind of praise. And people were saying it gave life to a dead franchise. And it's exactly what it needed. No. You know what it needed? You know what this franchise needed? A better DVD of the first movie. Now, I know there's a special edition, but I want more. That's what this franchise needed. A special edition of Universal Soldier. And Universal Soldier The Return. Not a fucking... Another two movies... That... Make no fucking connections to the first movie at all, really. Besides the name. And... Whatever. Just... Pisses me off. These movies piss me off so fucking much. 
I can't stand these movies. Thank God I saw this one for free because I would have, you know, injured myself. Would have done some, like, jackass shit to myself if I had to pay for this fucking piece of shit. Fuck this movie. And again, I know I'm gonna get hate and whatever, but I don't give a fuck. I, I don't care anymore. I, I stopped caring a, a while ago about what people think. Fucking stupid ass movie. The only good parts was the the fight in the sporting goods store and the fight with Dolph Lundgren. The rest of the movie I didn't give a fuck about. Still don't. Never will. So fuck this movie. Deuces. I'm out.